What's going on everybody? It's Joe. I'm here to go over my uh, next build I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on this GT uh, Aggressor Pro. Um, I've already started with changing out the handlebars, put in these risers because I had, um, comes with these bars on it. You can see quite a big a bit of difference between the two. Once I put on there a little bit longer, um, definitely a better rise. Brings the bars up to me a little bit better, which is a little bit more comfortable ride for me. I already dumped the seat off and put me on a little Forte seat. Um, next thing I'm going to do is, uh, got me some long travel shocks, some SR Sun Tours with the, uh, remote lockout. I just wanted a little bit better fork on it. I don't know why. I don't understand these. I bought the bike used and don't understand adjustments on these very well at all. Just not a lot of feedback on that adjustment. And, um, prefer to have something where I know what it is. My other... GTs have the, the lockouts on them a little bit more um, forward as to what they are and stuff like that. Plus, I got um, a little bit better, not better, but more comfortable grips. Definitely like a more uh, comfort style grip than the round grips. I see people get these type of grips all the time and they put them on bikes with grip shifts, which is probably the worst thing to do because, you know, that you know, cushions your palm and if you're trying to twist a grip shifter you're turning your grips too um also not too uh fond of the uh mechanical brakes of course these need new levers anyways i bought levers to replace it but i decided um and go with these uh shimano hydros get a little bit better stopping power and stuff due to the fact that uh more than likely i'm going to switch um this bike over to an e-bike I'm not for sure if I'm going to take my um, kit off of my Timberline and put on here. Or uh, I've been contemplating buying the 1,000 watt kit and putting a 1,000 watt on here. Another thing I might replace is these pedals. Can't decide if I want to go with uh, some Shimano's again or um, I've seen some Rock Brother pedals I kind of like that weren't outrageously expensive. Not near quite like my Saints I got on my um, e-bike though. Um, and that's probably going to be about it. Uh, it's just a step that I got to start with. I bought some uh, other little things. I know I need the new clips to hold the uh, cables in place and stuff. There's a few missing off of here. And, um, of course, I had to get me a new, uh, some new star nuts for when I put this on. As you can see, these forks are probably like an inch or so longer than the factory forks which is going to raise it up kind of wanted to like the matte black forks but i found a good deal on these so i was okay going with these because they kind of go with the color scheme on the bike already too fairly light fork should be easy um i'll just have to cut down that steer tube to the length i need it which is more likely going to be what the one is on it now just measure it out and cut it so I ain't got to do anything with it. Put the um, star nut in there. I had to do that with my uh, Schwinn Fastback when I received it. It came with the uh, the front carrier was smashed in on the carbon fork. So I had to go through a fiasco of getting um, the forks replaced from uh, Schwinn with that. And when they sent me the new fork, of course, it wasn't... Steer two won't cut down, so I had to cut it down, pop in a new star nut, and get it on there, which, you know, it's not an easy task for most people, but wasn't a big deal for me. I wasn't afraid to cut it. I don't have a fancy, uh, you know, steer tube cutter. I just use my chop saw and measure it out, cut it with my uh, metal chop saw. So hopefully this build goes well. Got some other little stuff just in case I need anything to uh, do it. Got this room kind of set up. I'm getting ready to remodel it and I'm just using it temporarily to uh, do the build changeover on this bike. So next video will be me starting to change stuff out getting everything where it needs to be. So um, thanks for watching.